Hi, I'm Asha from Skate Fresh. Welcome to my living room. Um, welcome to this series of videos. There's going to be four in this series in the next couple of weeks, all about how to reduce pain and reduce the possibility of injury from skating. Okay. Now I put out um, a shout out on social media a few days ago asking you, where do you feel your pains in your body during or after skating? And I got lots and lots of replies and none of them were a surprise to me because I've been observing this reply from my students for 20 years. So, you know, the main problem areas for skaters are feet and ankles, knees, um, hips and glutes and the lower back. So I'm going to be doing four different videos on those different body parts. And I'm going to give you a few quick little easy exercises that you could do on a daily basis almost, or certainly before or after you skate. And I do believe that they can really help reduce any discomfort that you may have. So for a lot of people, when they discover skating, they get really into it. And of course, we will all become a bit addicted to skating, which is great. But if skating is the only exercise that you do, you might be running the risk of um, repetitive strain on some of your joints and muscles, okay? So I do think all skaters should be stretching regularly and I've been a yogi for 20 years and it's probably the only reason I'm still skating and, you know, maintaining my hip injury when I should have had surgery five years ago. Okay, let's get going, all right? So feet and ankles. So I want you to sit, you do not need a yoga mat, but um, sit in any comfortable, that, any position that's comfortable for you. If you need to put your hands behind you, that's absolutely fine. And I want you to start off with flexing and pointing your toes. So we're gonna flex for three seconds, toes up towards the head, and then point, yeah, toes pointing straight ahead. So again, flex, yeah, and keep breathing throughout all of these exercises and point. Yeah, you could even match your breathing to your movement. So breathe in and flex. And then breathe out and point. And again, breathe in and flex. And breathe out and point. Okay, so you could do this 10, 15 times, yeah? and it will really help get some movement into that front of the ankle, all right? Exercise number two, we're going to scrunch and open your toes. So when we open the toes, you're trying to spread your toes sideways. I find this incredibly difficult. When I spread my toes sideways, they also wanna go down. I find staring at them kind of helps. And then we're gonna crunch in, yeah? So again, spread the toes. This is apparently really good for your brain as well. <laughs> and scrunch the toes without pointing. So you're almost sort of flexing the foot and pointing the toe. So again, spread the toes open. Oh, that really tickles my brain. <laughs> and then scrunch. Okay, and again, open and spread the toes. And I find this one particularly nice after I finish skating because your feet have been kind of jammed in your skates for a few hours. It's really nice to get them moving. Last two, open and spread and scrunch. Okay, doke So the next one is for your ankles and we're just gonna do basic, simple ankle rolls. So move your feet a little bit apart, maybe shoulder width apart. And let's go in it doesn't really matter which direction you go because you're going to reverse it. So very slow circle. So I'm gonna use my hands here to show you. So in and point and then out and flex. So imagine you're drawing a circle with your toes on the ceiling. And again, almost the slower you go, the better. Yeah, so point around and up. So I'm doing a sort of mirror image with both feet. And you can do it whichever way you like. Let's reverse direction, go the other way. So I'm now doing a circle in the other way. And I get lots of clicks in my ankle joints when I do this. And again, after skating, this is a great one. Your ankles don't actually move a lot when you skate because they're supported by your ankle straps and they're sort of, you know, like solid little tree trunks in there. 
So it's really good to get give them a bit of a mobilizing roll first. Okay, so both directions, yeah? I'd say when you have more time, do up to 10 in each direction. Okay, and the last one. So for this one, you're gonna kneel. Now, if kneeling for you is not very comfortable, what you can do is um, take a towel or a blanket. Um, in fact, let me show you with a cushion. So, or a cushion, yeah, and you can just place that under your butt and it might be easier on your heels, okay? Um, if you've got a yoga block or something else, you could use that, yeah? Whatever's comfortable for you. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take one knee and start bringing it up. And that's gonna stretch the front of the ankle. And you're gonna hold it, yeah, for a few seconds and then drop and change foot. So you're just lifting the knee. Don't worry about how much, you just lift until, whew, till you feel that stretch on the very top of your foot. Yeah, so this is like pointing, it's like a forced point. Okay, next time if you wanna lean backwards on your hands, you can. And again, try and just relax the other foot that you're sitting on. Now, depending on which direction you turn your toes in, you'll get a different stretch. So sometimes I sort of readjust just the direction my toes are pointing backwards. Now, when you feel that stretch sensation, the important thing is to not over push it and to just breathe and relax. Okay, we'll do another one on the other side. Oh, that feels great. <laughs> I didn't skate this morning, but it always feels good to get some space into the ankles. Okay, I sometimes play around with lifting both knees. It's a bit intense, but again, this, this can be quite nice. And again, holding each stretch and breathing is the right idea. There you go. So there's your four feet and ankle stretches. So, um, like I said, have a go at doing those before and after you skate. It just takes a few minutes and it may really help to reduce any pain or tension, okay? Now, I'm not a medical doctor. Um, if you have consistent, persistent, you know, serious pain, then you should look into that with a health professional. But I think for most people's kind of discomfort and niggles, these stretches and movements are a really good idea. So tune in next time and we'll be doing knees, which are often a real skater problem. So I'll see you soon. Let me know how that goes. And let me know if you have any favorite knee or ankle stretches that you wanna share with us. You can do that in the comments below. All right, have a great day. Take care, bye.